Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'd like to have a motor to run off of that um, little battery, that uh, solid battery that I made. And the only thing I think of is one of these little units like this because it's, <clears throat> I've seen on YouTube where people have made them run off of micro volts. So we'll see. It is over 100 microvolts, so maybe, uh, I mean microamps, so maybe it, it, it will work. It's got one point something volts, 1.5 volts, so <clears throat> I'll check this out. So what I'm going to do, instead of tearing this apart, I'm going to cut this uh, wire in two, and I'm going to solder onto those connections. Then what I'll do is just put a little piece of tape across that solar panel there so that it's it's not giving voltage and current to the the little circuit here. And I'll know if my little battery is actually providing any workable energy to the system. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is just strip off the uh, ends of this one wire then I'll tin it and then I'll solder it on there's one all right there's two well almost two okay two okay now let's do some tinning. I think it I think it's a solder. The plan was to tin it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work or not. Uh, let's see if we can just go ahead and solder it directly to it. Maybe this uh, soldering iron <coughs> isn't very good. Huh. Let's see. Let's try. Maybe we can tighten it up. Let's see. Remember, always have all your tools. No matter if you've got 10,000 tools sitting around, for some reason, when you try to use them, they won't work. So remember, have five or six extra on hand at all times. All right, let's see what we can do here. Well, well, well. That's hot. It's really hot. Tell you what, let me find some flux. I'll be right back. I'm going to find some flux. All right, I found some flux. How about that? How about that, boys and girls? I found some flux. Okay, let's see if this even works. <laughs> well, flux made it easy to melt the solder, but the solder doesn't want to stick to the... It's the top of that I'm putting up there. There it goes. Okay, we did it. Okay, get a bunch of flux on there. And let's try the other one. Voila, it worked. Okay. 
So we got those done. I think that still works. Yeah. You can tell that still works. Okay, next stage, I'm going to try to hook it up to the battery. Okay, now that we've got this soldered on and we know the energy is still going through, <clears throat> what we want to do is take this battery and connect it up and see if it makes any difference when I stop the, the light from touch hit, uh, going to the solar panel. All right, there we go. I don't know if I, let's see. I don't know which one of these is negative on the solar panel. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. Uh, let me check that first. Get in this box or something that works it up. Okay. Hang on a second. Okay. <clears throat> so now let's check the voltage. Let's see. White. I got positive on the white side. It helped if I turned it on. Point seven volts, that's the negative. Okay, so the white has got to be the negative. Yeah. White's got to be the negative. All right. All right, let's see. I think I'll cover this up and let it stop. Okay, let's cover that up. Probably still energy left into the, the circuit there, so we'll see how long it stop, takes to stop. Okay, it's draining. Okay, now let's let's check this out. So we know that this is the positive. Yep, this is the negative. Okay. You kidding me? All right, malfunction. Okay, let's uh, pick up where we left off. As you can see, I finally got the little motor all connected up. I put a um, microamp meter in series. Basically, it comes out and goes through here and, through, and back around to the yellow and in through here and then through the coil and back out through the red and comes back over to here. <clears throat> and what I've done is I've taken the, uh, the um, um, magnesium rod and the plastic, uh, conductive plastic, and then the... Um, electrolyte, the solid electrolyte, and it's in between the conductive plastic and the uh, magnesium rod. And what I did was I, I screwed it down 
so that it basically has pressure on it. And as you can see here, this thing is running really good. So evidently it's charging up the um, capacitor pretty well. And um, that's basically the draw that this is uh, this little coils drawing. I guess that's around 28, 30, 30 microamps, something like that. And let's see what kind of voltage on a jaw like that. I'm only having uh, about 88, uh, somewhere around that millivolts. So it's dropped from like one and a half volts down to that, but it uh, is continuing to charge this up and go to town. That's not too bad. Excuse me, my wife's calling okay, again. You can see. Oh, by the way, uh, she was wanting to know if uh, I wanted something from Dairy Queen. I said, sure, peanut butter parfait. Okay, I got that out of the way. But this thing, it's running like a top. It's doing pretty good. It's going to town. <clears throat> Little electrons are going through, and they're going into the capacitor, and uh, just a dandy old time they're having. So basically, what we're doing here is um, we're running this thing with solid electrolyte, solid piece of plastic that's conductive, and this... Uh, magnesium rod that's got uh, sodium silicate crystal on it and it is doing fine doesn't do a whole lot that's because it's not deteriorating but it is running and it is doing power and, and work so no telling what else we could do with it I don't know what we can do with it we'll see if anybody has any ideas, just let me know. I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I'll probably have something else coming soon. Bye.